looks just like the Z6, uh, G65 board I mentioned. All of the features all feel the same, except there's two, two key differences. First of all, the board has a little bit more power phases up here, so it's a little bit more overclocking friendly. But more importantly, and you can't see the chip underneath, but you can see the, uh, uh, the output here. This board has Intel Thunderbolt on here. Okay, Intel wow. Thunderbolt is the next generation connection uh, interface from Intel, uh, uh, that uses uh, fiber optics. And um, Thunderbolt is hardwired into the PCIe lane, so you actually have a lot more bandwidth, uh, uh, and you can expand your storage capability of, 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 uh, yeah, of, of what, what you have on your desktop. Like one, one, one gigabyte a second or something like no, that? No, actually, Thunderbolt uh, transfer speed is up to 10 gigabits per second. 10 gigabits, wow. It's actually double of what USB 3.0 is capable of. Wow. And this board will be available towards the end of this month or early May. The price has not been finalized, but it's somewhere around uh, 220 to 250 range in that, in that price range. 